The idea of a video doorbell is nothing new, but adding AI to that doorbell so it recognizes your visitors and greets them appropriately is fascinating to say the least. That's what the folks at NetView are trying to do with Bell, your AI-assisted doorbell. I'm Adam Dowd with Board at Work, and this is our review of Bell. Starting off, having a video doorbell is pretty awesome and addictive. Being able to whip out your phone and see what's going on outside your house is great. Seeing who is at the door before you even get up from your desk is better. Actually having a conversation with a person standing at your door while you're at your daughter's gymnastic class is epic. Bell is capable of all of that. Installation is simple, but please note that Bell only works with mechanical doorbells for now. An adapter was included in the box for mechanical doorbells, but it turned out I didn't need it. It was simply a matter of taking out the old doorbell button and swapping in Bell. It's also interesting to note that actually ringing the mechanical doorbell is an option in the app and it's off by default. Connecting Bell to Wi-Fi was challenging. You enter your Wi-Fi password into the app and it gives you a barcode, which the camera scans. We found out the hard way that too much background sun makes this near impossible. We had to wait until closer to sunset to get the barcode to read correctly. Once installed, you control everything through an app. You get notifications anytime there's movement by your doorbell, even if they don't ring it. There are no problems picking up extraneous movement from cars driving by, but you can configure zones to be ignored if that becomes a problem. The resolution of the camera is pretty good, and there's a night mode too. Too much sun completely washes out everything in the background, so it can be hard to see what's going out near the street at times. Also, we got notifications of movement every time the light transitioned from daytime to nighttime and vice versa. So basically, two extra notifications per day that wasn't movement at all. When there is motion, Bell captures a series of photos showing you what happened. NetView also offers two subscriptions. The first records your conversations that you have with guests and save them for seven days in the cloud. The second records seven days of 24-7 recordings and saves them in the cloud that you can download and play back when you need to. The second is probably more useful in our case, but we tried them both and they both worked pretty well. The app is pretty easy to use, if a bit limited. We'd like to see a little more functionality built in, for example, being able to schedule when the indoor bell chimes. If you have sleeping children and you could just get notifications to your phone when someone shows up, that would be nice. Now, let's get to Bell's main selling point, the AI. This part is eh, disappointing. During our testing, we honestly didn't have that many repeat visitors, mostly delivery men, salesmen, and the occasional Jehovah's Witness. So Bell's key feature of being able to recognize repeat visitors and greet them wasn't really put to the test, except I rang my own doorbell often and never identified myself as an owner. As far as Bell knew, I was just some dude who came over a lot, but it never recognized me. Plus, the greeting that Bell gives you is improperly delayed. When you first ring the bell, Bell says, I'm coming. And after a pause, it says, one moment, please. And then after another pause, she finally gets around to you. Hi, I'm Bell. What can I do for you? Maybe NetView is trying to make their AI seem like a real person, but I'm coming and one moment are completely unnecessary. The whole point of an AI assistant is to do things for you. And I can make my guests wait for an awkwardly long time. Bell shouldn't have to. Ding dong. Hi, I'm Bell. Should be the recipe going forward. Plus, I want my artificial intelligence to be, you know, intelligent. Delivery guys come up, ring the bell, drop the package, and leave before Bell even has a chance to say anything. But despite the fact that no one's standing at the door anymore, Bell continues to try to ask who it is and then rings the owner. Not smart. Finally, and your mileage may vary on this point, but man, Bell is laggy. Conversations between you and a person at the door have about 5 to 10 seconds of latency. Now, there's probably not a lot that can be done about that, to be perfectly frank, but it's not our favorite. Perhaps more stringent connectivity requirements should be there to make sure Bell has a good signal as it needs to operate properly. But anyway, let's wrap it all up. If you're looking for a video doorbell that allows you to see what's going on in front of your house, offers 24-7 monitoring, and can enable you to talk to your visitors even when you're not home, Bell does all of that, but so do a lot of others. But Bell's main selling point here is the AI, and on this, NetView has a lot of work to do before it works as advertised. All that being said, if you're Reggie and you're there to pick up Martin Lawrence's daughter for a date, you'd probably rather deal with Bell than Will Smith. Thanks for checking out our video review of Bell, the kinda sorta AI assisted doorbell. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get new videos as they hit the airwaves. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a little thumb love. Once again, I'm Adam Dow, Dead Technology on Twitter, reminding you to always enjoy your entertainment.